You've been doing some new things last time we yeah. checked in. Well, we figured why not make something that's not necessarily a Western boot that's still made on the same last, same design, but just make it in something that people might want to wear more year round than just a Western boot. We've made a few different boots, which we have here. So the one that you've got there is what we call a Chelsea boot. Just a nice, easy, pull-on style boot. This is what we call a service boot or a scout boot. Essentially just a nice low cut lace up, low heel, rounded toe on there. We've been making these for, for customers for quite some time. You can even come in and say, I want a certain height, I want a certain number of eyelets. Really make your own boot. We make them all right here in town. This might not be an office job, fellas. Look at this one. I would not have expected to have a spur box on a shoe like this. Yeah, absolutely. So this is very similar to the Chelsea boot. This is called a Congress boot, and we make this for all of the RCMP. How can I get these? Do I, do I still have to come here? Are you going to sell them online? If people are able to come in, they're going to get the best fit possible, but we do a lot of online orders as well, so people can contact us from anywhere in the world, say what style they're after, and we would just get foot tracings measurements from them, and then we can make it up based on those specs. How do we take care of our cowboy boots? So this is a pair that I got pretty much right when we moved from our downtown location. I believe these are nine years old. I've worn these as a mostly daily boot for a lot of that time. What do you call them for winter? So while well, this is kind of my uh, my shit kicking boot. <laughs> there's, a, there's a really nice saying, never kick a fresh dirt on a hot day. <laughs> That's so, smart. <laughs> shit kicking boots, this has seen some wear and tear. How do we take care of it? Easiest way to take care of this, when it's brand new, you can actually spray it with an all protector spray that's designed for an oiled leather. But we find the best way to really get into that leather and kind of bring it back from being all beat up and cracked like these boots are. Mink oil cream is the best thing. It's kind of like when you put hand lotion on on a dry day when your hands are getting all cracked. Take an old rag, for example, just put a little bit on, rub it in. Give it some love. Absolutely. We've got a lot older ones that come in on a daily basis from people wearing them for 20, 30 years. A little bit of care here or there and keep them looking good for many years to come.